Anywho, more pertinent to this run here. It's who we want to worship. I think we will go with Sif still. I'm looking at like the undead gods, but again, I think I want to do a little bit of a like dedicated necromancy focus at some point, probably with a mummy, just to, you know, play into the thematics of it all. Plus they do get some advantages in that department. So let's let's go for it. Something nice, simple, straightforward, and comfortable for us with Sif Muna. And we'll see if we can't uh, again leverage that, capitalize on our choice to some amount of success, whatever that may or may not look like. Ooh, an amulet of regeneration. Don't mind if I do. Again, throw that bad boy on. We should double check. No new mutations quite yet, so we'll, we'll hold our breath in that category for now and see how things go. Definitely weaken you, my angry bear friend. Fantastic. Ooh, and an early bookstore could definitely give us the keys to the kingdom. Some summoning is not horrible. I mean, Book of Annihilations. Oh. I'll favorite it for now. If we need one of those level 9 spells, that will be a pretty huge get for us. And then Frost, not so much. Ice, can't imagine. I guess we could transition into a little bit more of a cold theme instead of poison. The main issue with that is that you're kind of overlapping your weaknesses. You know, when it comes to ice and poison, a lot of the enemies that your attacks will be ineffective on makes it so that Venn diagram is verging on more of a circle in appearance, but I guess we'll, we'll again, play it by ear and see how it goes. Could learn Blink, I guess, with the Book of Minor Magic, but instead we'll just hold out hope. We'll see what kind of spell books we get in a natural fashion here, and that may, uh, may impact how we feel about those on sale ones later on down the road here hey boss how's it going hope things have been well on your side my friend um definitely back away to our stairwell as soon as possible in fact let's just take care of these kiddos up here we feel energized by suffering never quite remember that we gain a little power by taking damage Interesting, so I think that will affect our spell power and our melee attacks, if I remember correctly, though. Take that statement with a grain of salt for sure, because I don't have the best uh, recollection on all the mechanics in the game here. Kind of just whiff or go on a whim every single time, and for the most part, it just happens to work out. Ooh, plus five intelligence leather armor. I'm a programmer, right? I am. Yes, indeed. Backend development in websites and mobile apps. Well, this should, if anything, have a positive effect on our casting. Fantastic. Even though we're swapping into a slightly heavier set of armor, that intelligence plus five is a beautiful little bit of kit. So that is fantastic. I heard about the CrowdStrike issue a little bit here or there, but I would not say I'm knowledgeable in it in the slightest, no. Mainly just hearing about some of the, the consequences or repercussions of it, like the holdups at airports and whatnot. But did not affect me or my uh, my work at all, at least not, not yet. I guess just to, to caveat that in case Karma has their eye on me at the moment here. Let's blast you, my friend. It's the official post from the CrowdStrike. Something about, or from CrowdStrike rather, something about Windows pushing an update without communicating with them. Honestly, don't speak programmer and you're trying to decipher it. I think that's that's a very fair assessment here. I mean, let's, uh, see what does this article look like but something i can skim real quick i can give whatever small modicum of understanding i can do, do, do. configuration file parameter type details 
Interesting. Yeah, this is definitely very much inside baseball in how they're uh, going about it. Cause analysis of the logic flaw. Interesting. I mean, definitely unexpected updates to uh, supplementary packages or libraries is a pretty huge issue that you see crop up in most programming fields, I'd say. Definitely have, have had that one show its ugly uh, face in the past for me. They're still trying to, or it seems like they're still trying to work with Microsoft to figure out how this broke so bad to you. It seems like something happened no one thought of happening before. I, I do think, again, very much is skimming the, the link you sent. It does seem like a, a pretty innocuous error that you wouldn't think that some of the like the base file structure or naming conventions for things would ever change because it's so fundamental to like the the foundation that the OS is built on. But as always, in in most disciplines, I'd say, but definitely especially in programming, assumptions are your own worst enemy, and so assuming something would never change, unfortunately didn't uh, bear out, it seems. But again, I want to make it especially clear or exceptionally clear, Brent couldn't decide between the words, that I am speaking from a place of ignorance and don't have a, a great grasp or understanding as to the, the issue here. Hey, hey, gay man, how's it going? Been a while for sure. Let's definitely take a little bit of a, a step back from things here, especially since the iguana alone is kind of handing it to us. Of course, we have to be very careful heading back up to our previous floor because didn't say anything out loud, but we were being chased around by Edmund, and this time, I, in a, a twist of fate, in a departure from my usual playstyle, this time I paid attention to a weapon an enemy was holding. And a Holy Wrath Edmund sounded like a pretty quick way to uh, get our own ass handed to us. So, in the, the path of avoiding such an eventuality, we'll just ignore the rest of that floor for the time being. See how it goes. We do get lucky with our ID scrolls there, curing and heal wounds found right off the bat, decent stacks of each, and fear scrolls could also definitely get us out of an otherwise tricky situation. Ooh, let's definitely try out OTR for the, the first time of the run here. Fantastic. Yeah, it's had so new. It seems like they're already trying to point fingers and don't under, really understand what's going on. Thank you for the debrief. You know, as much as uh, my inane ramblings can be uh, attributed as such, but no problem. I mean, the, the pointing fingers thing is definitely pretty prevalent again in development across the board here because you are working with very complex systems and usually there are all these dependencies you know everything you're building is built off the work before and so people can be pretty quick to point fingers i feel like it doesn't help that as a general rule uh, developers are a very opinionated bunch and so couldn't possibly be your fault because you of course were a uh, doing the only sane, correct, proper, right, cool, intelligent thing, and everyone else is idiots. <laughs> you know, again, coming from a place of ignorance. For all I know, Windows dropped the ball in some spectacular fashion, and uh, it is all on them. So want to make that abundantly clear that I'm just some some dum-dum on the internet spouting with zero real knowledge or understanding. And I should hardly know her. Indeed, indeed. I do love how that, that joke has evolved from being a, a real dad joke to now being kind of torn apart. The like the meta levels of humor underline it all. And now I'm talking about humor. I'm really just spouting off knowledge that I in no way, shape, or form have any real understanding or grasp on. Because humor is not exactly my forte. You know, I like to think that it is to a certain extent, but especially when I'm on camera and trying to come up with something clever to say, I find my brain 
you know, just to blame it again, completely on stream. Maybe I'm not so different from those developers that I, I poke fun at. Couldn't possibly be me. It's the, the kids who are wrong, of course. You're too poor to pay attention. I feel that on a very fundamental level. Okie dokie. Alchemy skill increased up to eight here. I mean, somehow, despite me just rambling off the dome and uh, not paying that much attention as to how the run is going, things are kind of working out for us, at least at the moment here. No, uh, no real promises or expectations that it will continue to do so in any meaningful capacity, but fingers crossed and all that. Definitely keep ID and stuff as things come along. And let's OTR while we're at it. Why the heck not? Do I gotta play Gozag? Give him money so he can pay attention to you? you no, know, I've never really thought of the Gozag relationship in that uh, that fashion. Is it just like a, a phone line service? We can call and get the real Gozag on the phone for a low, low price of whatever percent of your total net worth <laughs> now that's how they get you i mean you know you know how much i love goze greed is good and uh i'd be remiss to to talk too much uh down on to them but you're opening my eyes to the uh the truths of this world i guess we go walk our our new friend into a teleportation trap because we don't really have any method to deal with them and guess who's back back then guess sting deals some damage i can weaken you and then we might be able to duke it out okay it does kind of work out plus five hand axe on this son of a gun that is not nearly as safe of an encounter at least doesn't feel to be oh me oh my except they're following us yikes 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 tab danger potion petition i'm okay the the, the quintessential goes egg experience what mutations do we have so let's see before we open it if i can even remember what's happened in the last few minutes we have green scales or slimy scales whatever they're called we have Power from pain, so getting hurt increases our abilities. And what was? Are there mutation? Ah, fingernails. Well, let's see if I am at all coherent today. Shockingly enough, seems like we're three for three there. It's a, a Christmas miracle in the middle of summer. Well, Powered by Pain is so good. See, I'm not super familiar with it. I feel like I have a few of my favorites. I really like, um, and I wish I knew all the names. Again, Brain is not, uh, not supplying me the information that I query. This is not the data you're looking for. Um, but I really like the, what's the, the dark magic the one that casting spells can like paralyze nearby enemies is pretty fantastic healing off of kills i feel like a lot of the spells that i put a lot of merit in or sorry demon spawn mutations that i put a lot of merit into are the uh the mega ziggurat adjacent ones because that is one of the the strengths of a a demon spawn character of course Oof, all of our stairs are up by that son of a gun. Okay, turns out, might just have to fight you, buddy. Just keep you weakened as much as we possibly can. Okay, turns out, should have just done that from frame one, but hey, it is what it is. And this time we go in confidently, and... You know, normally that would mean that that white just absolutely destroy us or destroys us in the marketplace of ideas but fortunately not today my friends not today you can get a free brilliance potion sometimes which is that from uh from goes hag or from the mutation there because i guess you get the the power increase right but not the mana 
guess it wouldn't be a free brilliance potion if we were uh, still talking about good old Go-Go. Ooh, okay, we got Scent of Decay or whatever. We emit foul miasma when damaged in melee. Interesting. Powered by Pain, it buffs one of the three stats. Oh, okay, I thought it would be like a slain bonus and or a... Uh... Oof, yikes. And or a spell power increase, like wizardry. Well, my friend, you are going to be a little bit of a problem. Poison resistant and you deal much more damage than I uh, feel comfortable dealing with, so I guess we just try and charm ya. Get him, boss. Thank you. you know Maybe. Pick up this one scroll. Okay. Get lucky again. Immediately, uh, charm the, the socks off of our, our gin friend. Could almost take you around the love pool here for a bit. Uh, yeah, slime creature? Oh my gosh, wait. I can just put you to work. Oh no. I've made a horrible mistake. They're at half health. I guess, let's see. If we did, if we were to polymorph you, you turn into much scarier things, you say? I, I might be okay then. If we weaken you, yeah, that fire damage is just too much, my friend. So we'll uh, make friends once again. And I have six more charges. We've been lucky with the coin flips so far. There we go. That's more like what I would expect. Wand of Flame, that's not going to do it. Please, game, I need something. Some, like, Ice Blast or... You know, anything in that ilk would uh, be lovely. Oh no, I've kind of oh, I've put myself in a terrible position here. So let's just keep running. Okay. One more charge here. Son of a gun. So yeah, we can tell him to retreat. Unfortunately, it's still temporary. I guess we'll do so again here. And just keep running for the time being. And hopefully, by the time we're forced to return to this hellhole, we'll have some kind of tool for dealing with them. I just call Kozai Gogo -Go like he's a pet? No, not like a pet. Like a... Uh... You know, the pet name of a, a beloved person. You can't, uh... When you have a relationship with Gozeg like I do, you know, you, uh... You gotta get a little cute with it. Keep things interesting. <laughs> Good Gogo. -Go. Bad Gogo. -Go. Um, I have... Poison resistance? I do indeed. So we should be generally okay. Against our, our Hornet pal. Fantastic. And otherwise, we'll keep burning through. Or rather, I'd be in through a few more of our things here. Ooh, Vampiric. I mean, we likely won't really be able to take advantage of that. But there's some amount of temptation there. Go, go, gadget, go, zag, indeed. I mean, that's definitely how it feels anytime we're, we're flying high with our favorite money bags in the sky and beautiful let's see teleportation fantastic teleportation scroll is what i was kind of hoping we'd have in our inventory somewhere as we were dealing with our our gin friend up this direction but okie dokie right you might be a problem my friend i mean keep weakening you but the poison isn't gonna cut it oh this might have been a horrible sequence of events and there's not a lot that we can take out of this i guess if we had learned like sticky flame 
could have dealt some amount of damage. I doubt we could have killed our vampiric friend here, unfortunately. But it is what it is. So, this might just be teleportation and see what happens kind of vibe. And not too bad at the moment, which of course did leave us with yet another enemy that uh, we currently don't have the, the tools at our disposal to deal with. Holy moly. And you're just blasting me with Quicksilver over and over again. Thanks for that, my friend. Appreciate it. But we get six charges of Quicksilver. So that is currently our only method for dealing with those uh, those threats that we were talking about earlier. Oh, me oh my. Here's another one. Yeah, even my asthma, not exactly going to do the trick. I guess technically fire magic works on you. So that's something in the loosest definition of the phrase. Oh my. So, we run into Vampire Friend again. Have slightly more recourse, I guess. And do it. Let's just poison all these. Sons of Guns. Beautiful. Finally, an enemy that we're, we're predisposed to be half decent at dealing with. So that's fantastic. Oh, I should have kept. Our troll friend there in the Miasma Cloud. Not the end of the world, though, one way or another. Fortunately, they all crumble at the same. 